Let's see. Here's a neat little kind of bebop thing in A. You're incorporating the triad of the flat seven or the G. Sliding in and out of A. You're going to start the fifth string. Two, three, four. And then over the fourth string. your triad of G right there. And then you're going to slide up to the second string, seventh fret, seven, six, five. And then the third string, eight, seven. And then third string, five, six. And then fourth string, seven. Put you in A major. These licks, with the exception of some of the open string stuff, are going to work anywhere. Anytime you see a closed lick like that. It's going to work anywhere. All right, so. Uh, bluesy type stuff. Real easy type thing right there, out of a box, out of a... to not hit it very many notes at all. Do it all in bend. Of course, the old cliche. And of course, even older than that. Uh, pretty clapped in this one. B.B. King style right there. There's a neat little lick in D. I think I stole off Randall George. We'll add it extra there. You're starting up here, uh, 8, 8, uh, 9, 10. First string and eight. Back down. Forgotten the leg. There it is. Walk down that way. So it's all. It's all pentatonic. It's all chromatic movements. Just have a neat effect slide back up there. Uh, you can do kind of the same idea in A or G. And that's uh, again an eight, nine, ten. Flop over on the tenth. Nine eight seven on the third. There's the trick: is is doing three notes and then sliding down. licks into the other one. You know, so on and 
so forth. Here's a, a old cliche jazz thing that's cool. That's a that's a kind of a, a hammer slide back out of the ninth fret, 9, 11, 9, 8, 9. Get your A note on the second string, 10th fret. Slide backwards on this thing again. You know, and you can carry it on. in the world. You can also do it forward. Twelve, eleven, ten, twelve, eight to nine, to ten. Here's a great waterfall lick in G. You can use this in G or uh, E minor. gives the illusion of chimes and you're working out of this you're trying G so uh, seven and eight and then the first string open ah. now I went to the third string seventh and then the second string open over to the fourth string seventh third string open trick. Go to the 7th fret 5th string. You got a double there. You kind of want that overtone. You're going 5th uh, string to the 4th open. Back to the 5th string which is on the 7th fret and then the 3rd open. And then you start back up. Whoops. And that's back on the 4th string 7th and the 2nd open. 3rd string 7th and the 1st string open. works on G and E minor. All right. Here's a neat little uh, Robin Ford type blues lick in E. Nice little walk up. And harder to explain, I see. Third string, uh, we got uh, nine seven and then fourth string nine. That's uh, the second string, seven, third string, nine and seven. That's a pull off, an A pull off there, second string, eight to seven, third string, nine. And that's the second string, ten to eight pull off, third string, nine. Second string ten to or twelve to ten. There it is. To the third string twelve. First string uh, ten and second string twelve and ten and the first string twelve. Your E note. And they'll work anywhere.